three ways to destroy the narcissist ego. If you are dealing with a narcissist, this is something you must do. Their heads are in the clouds. They're constantly daydreaming. They're constantly thinking in a delusional manner. They're on a different planet. Because their entire lives, they've been told that they're special by people who only value superficial things rather than their character or personality which is why you must put the narcissist in their place you must bring them back to earth You must let them know that they're not as special or important as they think they are. One. Discard them. Tell them that you don't want to deal with them anymore. It will leave them wondering why. Because they were probably the ones to discard everyone else they were with. They were the ones to leave. So if they do something stupid and you reject them, it makes them feel less important and proud. They're forced to recognize your value. It shows them that you can get rid of them whenever you want. Whenever they cross the line, you must be ready to get rid of them at any moment. Because that's what will keep their behavior in check when they fear that they might lose you. Two, don't have sex with them. When you don't want to have sex with a narcissist, it destroys their ego. Because when you have sex with them, that's what feeds them. It tells them that they have a useful purpose in your life. So when you no longer show any interest to have sex with them, it makes them wonder why. Because they use sex to control you, to keep you hooked. And when you don't want it anymore, they're going to want to know what happened. It takes them off their pedestal. It tells them they're not important. Three, don't text back straight away. When the narcissist texts you and you instantly text back, it tells them they've got you. It tells them you're on their mind. They're on your mind. You're thinking about them. 
they're important to you. But when you wait a few hours to text them back, it tells them that they're not significant. It tells them you're not always going to be ready to do whatever they ask. It creates a sense of mystery. It makes them wonder what you're doing. When you're dealing with a narcissist, you have to always seem like you're busy. As soon as they know you're not busy and you make your life revolve around them, they're going to think you're weak. And they're going to exploit that perceived weakness. They're going to make full use of it. And they're going to drag you through the mud. You must be mysterious. You must disappear sometimes without any explanation. You must humble the narcissist. Because their ego is constantly being inflated by their supporters and fly monkeys. They're constantly posting pictures on social media and getting thousands of likes. There's so many people validating their false image and supporting the illusion. No one has ever put these narcissists in their place. Which is why they feel like they can walk all over you and treat you however they choose to. They've probably never been discarded. They're always the ones to discard their targets. So if they do something you don't like, you need to set a boundary. You need to tell them you're done. And watch how they switch up. Watch how they come running back to you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.